Hey, Dan, I couldn't get a good picture of this pink section there, but I think it's coming across okay in the video a little better. So it's just, you know, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, that's exactly where a, a, a little mat would sit. But, I mean, it's not a huge area, so it's just put another mat over top, I guess. Actually, I'll give you a quick run around while I've got the camera going here. Uh, power jacks, solar prep, nice cap on the front. I'm assuming there's lights up there. The sun's really blinding me. So, um, yeah, these caps, you had to watch them for sun fade, but this one's actually in really good shape. Uh, what do we got? Not a huge uh, pass-through compartment door. I think this one's locked. It, it's bigger. The other door is bigger than this one. So it's it's decent. It's par for the course. Uh, it, I think it's a 30 amp trailer. I don't. Yeah, 30 amp. So you could only run one air conditioner at a time. But of course, if you wanted to drop a second one in, you could. Uh, black tank flush, outdoor hot and cold shower. Yeah, like the slides are in good shape. <clears throat> it needs a wash, but when you uh, looked at, I don't know how many thousands of trailers, you can pretty well tell. Barreled roof. You notice that in the, in the uh, <clears throat> inside a little bit more. Well, it's in Highlands. My dad worked there for a long time. So they've got a little bumper mount barbecue on there. Your LP Quick Connect. Awning arm might need an adjustment. But the awning comes out over the slide. So it's not a real deep slide, but without this slide on the camp side, you wouldn't get that island kitchen. And if you're spending any time inside, you'll appreciate it. And it's not like you're sacrificing a whole lot of awning coverage, maybe a foot and a half, something like that. Uh, decent outdoor kitchen on this. Let me see if I can get it open. Good size fridge, that's the best thing about it. No, no stove, but there, you've got the barbecue here in the back, but it's running water plumbed some uh storage there and the mag magnetic catches too that was a little bit ahead of their time um they put the good step on it yeah that's it's like it's not soft or anything it's just discolored so the inside you see that barreled roof this is just a regular um regular angle so it's not uh, distorted from the camera it actually looks like that Two-way fridge, they're hard to find anymore. Fireplace, like this stuff. I guess it, it is microfiber, I guess that's what you'd call it, but it's it's really nice to the touch. And it's in excellent shape. This uh, this is a, a the better test type of trifold actually. Like uh, it comes out and you, you pull the legs down like so, and then you flip the top down um, versus something with springs in it. This is more gonna be a more comfortable sleep. Give you an idea for the storage. Freestanding dinette. Nice light. So you to walk. <clears throat> you can say walk around queen bed, but toilet. Lots of room there around the toilet, so spread out a bit. You need long legged bars. I feel a bit sorry for you. <clears throat> but yeah, there's plenty of room there. Shower, storage in here, two closets, one underneath, one there. Yeah, I haven't measured this. Let me see, this is gonna make for a terrible video, I'm sorry, man. Um, the dimensions aren't on there, but I'll find it. Uh, so now that I'm looking at it, maybe it is a, but even, even if it is 74, you could go six inches here and with a different mattress and still be able to squeeze by. Let the wife sleep on that side, maybe. Closet, TV. Oh, we're four and a half minutes long. Sorry, man. I'll get this, uh, I think I'll put it up on YouTube and just send you the link. Anyways, that's what that mattress looks like. It's comfy.